Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of the Copa America jersey review. We are looking at the group of the uh, replacement hosts in many ways. Um, and uh, that's why that's the one thing where I changed the order because suddenly Brazil became host. Colombia would have been the number one team, but I, they then kind of got flip-flopped. So Brazil will start and I'm wearing Brazil. Of all the jerseys that are hanging here, I have to say this is still still very much my fav favorite uh despite not being uh being more for argentina than for brazil but this brazil jersey is just an absolute beauty 90s beauty with all the patterning in there it is gorgeous in many 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 ways and so let's jump right into it uh to see the new brazil jersey this is the first jersey that features the new brazil crest which is similar to this one and the one that we have up there. Um, however, a little bit updated, it's a little bit more modern lettering than uh, yeah, it's now uh, instead of green bordered by yellow, there's just a yellow and a green. It's a little bit off centered. Um, everything to kind of give it a more modern vibe. And the, while the outline is there, and that's maybe the one thing that bugs me is that the outline is broken by the stripes. This it, it kind of looks divided which maybe fits for brazil uh, or the brazilian federation in many ways but yeah that's maybe the one thing uh, you know new logos you gotta get used to them uh it's it's never easy to judge a new logo when you're so used to the old one i think it is not an egregious mistake but i i do prefer this version at this moment slightly more However, having said that, that, that that's where the one downer, uh, but other than that, the design of the jersey is so classic Brazil, uh, it's a joy. It, of course, takes inspiration of the famous 1970 jersey, um, and since it was released in 2020, you know, 50 years of that World Cup triumph, um, it made a whole lot of sense to give, give, give us a classic Brazil crew neck with the uh, sleeve cuffs also in green. This is classic Brazil. I mean, it couldn't get better. And then to add a little bit more vibrancy uh, to, to, to it, there's this diamond pattern in there. Nike, Umbro, hmm, maybe something there. Um, which actually makes it interesting to look at. So it's a modern take on the, seven, on, on the classic jersey from the 70s, which actually had two, if not three, many factors. There, there, there was something like that. Two, I think they switched at halftime. And one was Umbro. Uh, so yeah. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous Brazil jersey. The one thing marks is a little bit the crest, but other than that, this is about as nice a Brazil jersey as you will ever get. And for that reason, nine stars easily. I want for the longest tough times a Brazil away jersey. I really like the one from the last World Cup. Uh, there were a few that I really liked uh, re recently, but what I would like is a white one with uh, a, a blue one with a little bit of white. However, uh, this one here, has a very pleasing combination of shades. Ted reminiscent of the jersey that Argentina wore in the 2014 World Cup final, although the other color uh, sequence was a whole lot of mess. Here you have a gradient and it's very pleasing to go from the deep blue up to the lighter blue down and using all these diamonds. It looks very, very beautiful. And I have to say, uh, while initially I thought, hmm, it's a little bit boring, uh, the more I look, look at it, it's a very pleasing and very smart away look for, for Brazil. That can also, uh, due to the gradient, you get a little bit interest in the shirt. It also uh, can be nicely combined with the blue pants from the home jersey. So I think that is all a win. Maybe, just maybe, give me a little bit yellow on the sides here and this could look even better, but you know, um, just a little bit flash and then you know you get the numbers in yellow pro, 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 pro on, on there. So that's enough. Again, the crest a little bit of downer on uh, uh, that. I, you know, I like my blue jerseys. Also, nine stars. And that's where we move on to Colombia. And yes, going from uh, the jersey I'm most proud of to the one that I'm least proud of. I want this jersey. I want to have badly have it. However, as you know, this is a fake, but for the Copa America, it will do. It's the 2014 home jersey. And it's actually not that bad that I'm wearing this because I actually want to show you that the current home jersey just quite doesn't kill it for me. 
For me, a Colombia home jersey needs to be yellow. I know this is not that traditional color. They have been wearing orange. They have been wearing red. And I think only since the early 90s, they're wearing yellow. But I love my yellow for Colombia. However, I do not like the accents in red up here. Make them dark blue. This is a much stronger contrast. Kind of this, it looks more Romania than Colombia to me. And I know this makes next to no sense. I really love the sleeve cuffs. Uh, the flag, the flag uh, pattern on there is uh, gorgeous. The color, I think, is also right because we still have the flag. We have yellow, um, blue, red. However, I also would have made it kind of uh, sim similar colored. It's just the the over jersey is rather boring. I mean, this one is spectacular. Yeah, we can discuss the white. Maybe this white should 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 should, should, should be red, and we have to switch around a little bit. Yeah, that I can we 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 can have an argue, but the uh, design of this one was spectacular. The one from the last World World Cup was maybe not perfect, but it also looked quite spectacular. This one looks downer boring. The one that's for the last Copa, yeah, that was a little bit too much. This one is a little bit too little. Five stars. I really have to say I never really liked that one, despite having a little country shape on the back. But you know, that's probably that's probably the best feature of uh, that jersey. I do, however, like the away jersey a whole lot more. It keeps the sleeve cuffs great. I do not necessarily like the template. However, uh, the blue, although it's not the, I, I would like a more azure blue, and you know all this patterning from the Adidas. Okay, I can. We can look past that in a way. I, I think here choosing uh, yellow accents is a smart move. Then you have the nice sleeve cuffs and a blue just looks fine. If you would combine this now um, with uh, proper so, uh, bottoms and whatever, I think this, this could be an absolute cla classic look. I mean, give this some, yeah, with blue, you, you cannot really make the flag, but you know, yellow maybe down would make a strong look. I actually have, have, have to say when Adidas released their, uh, you know, non-bespoke designs, let's put it that way, although the sleeve cuffs are very much bespoke and very much a Colombian flag there, which uh, is my favorite feature on this shirt. I have to say uh, that this was probably the best one of the lot, better than Russia, better than Argentina, definitely better than whatever Belgium and Spain and whatever did. And this is also one that I said, yeah, mm -hmm. if I get a chance to get this one, I might as well. And so, not perfect, but I think 8 star, perfect for sure. Moving on to Neighbors Venezuela, we each have a similar flag, but for some reason, I don't know why the national color is this darkish red for uh, Venezuela. They are with Givova still, um, and it was a, a kind of a fractured relationship with Givova sometimes not being able to supply the perfect jer jerseys using other brands jerseys and whatever. Uh, I have not seen much of the Venezuela team at this uh, Copa America, but when I look at this one, just look how a it's an obvious ripoff of what Adidas is doing at the moment with all this pattering on there and B, look at how poorly the crest looks applied. I mean, it's like uh, a sticker that is seem seemingly com coming off. <sighs> Venezuela deserves better. I think Venezuela had some really, uh, when they were still with Adidas, really some interesting jerseys. These ones, not so crazy about, not so crazy about. And uh, it's an obvious ripoff and also the crest would need some work and so on. I want to go four stars for the disappointment there. Um, as far as you know, they're reusing the waiters from last time around, which I actually in many ways liked because there's this V in there, although me reminding uh, me of the Vancouver Canucks in the early 80s, that famous jersey. Look at my jersey river re from last time to see a picture, picture, picture of those. Um, those hockey jerseys are quite out there. I don't know where I have to pick picture now, but I'll link the video up. Um, I do like this V, or big chevron on there. I'm not sure why it is white on the bottom. That kind of is a little bit odd. And then also the crest and seems a little bit off to me. It makes sense if you come, uh, if you take the national colors, national team colors for uh, Venezuela. But I wish that the V either is in the flag colors or 
we monochrom make make a monochromatic crest kind of which is never something I like i do like the color there's a few nice things in there but i think it will not go beyond the seven stars that i gave it uh back then and then we go up into the high andes to the third country that has pretty much the same flag just call, call of arms and this all goes back venezuela colombia and ecuador sharing the same flag to history when they were all Gran Colombia um, and then kind of split up again and so you see that in the his, his history as well giving my new Ecuador jersey first outing on the channel while looking at the very new one for Marathon um, the look is a little bit out there the new crest and I'm not sure if this was released already for the last I want to say already for the last Copa America but I'm not 100% anymore I do like my Conda there. Yes, it looks a little bit funny, but I do like my Conda there. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of wings there, to, uh, but you know, I understand it needs to be modern, blah, 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 blah. Um, what I dislike the most, I mean, I think I can understand you want to put something else out there and that you want to put a little bit more splash of blue there. However, in to make it modern looking, we go for a very navy blue and not the blue from the flag. So that's strike num number one. Then the blue, at least on the front, is totally overbearing the yellow, when yellow is actually your first jersey color. It is made up by it that the back is all yellow, and when you see the jersey in play, uh, you think it's a yellow jersey, but if you look at it in front, you will say, yeah, this is mostly navy. I do like the color combination, don't get me wrong, but I actually think it might have looked stronger if we give more uh, more Ecuador, if we give a prominence to the yellow and not so much to the blue. Just use the navy as an accent color, maybe even use a lighter shade, shade, shade of blue, but we Maybe I get it for now, but I would have liked to see uh, this shade of blue. Well, I don't dislike the overall color, but I dislike the execution of this shirt a little bit. The marathon has been doing quite well overall, uh, as we will see. Um, but this one, yeah, doesn't hit it quite. I, I think they have, they have delivered better jerseys for Ecuador. I'm not saying that this one here is better. Well, it was worn at the World, World Cup, which is what it did. Uh, this one, in a way, looks more modern. However, too much blue. And for that reason, I'm going only seven stars. And, you know, I want to see a little bit more condor on there. The away jersey, however, is one that I do not get at all. I do not get this one. Um, maybe the raglan sleeves and the color of the color. But where is this turquoise coming from? I guess, no, this is me spec speculating. This is maybe the ocean around the Galapagos Islands. Maybe, maybe. Other than that makes no sense. And the crest, nah. This one to me is a train wreck. Three stars. Let's not spend more time on that. And let's go a little bit further south to mm -hmm. Peru. And we finish with a bang. Peru jerseys, especially the one from 1970, maybe not as famous as the Brazil jersey, but that Peru jersey is generally considered as the best international World Cup jersey ever worn. And the Peruvian style with the sash in red on the white is just a classic. You hardly ever could do it wrong. And I would argue that this Valon one with that little bit, maybe is a little bit pushing it, but it looks awesome in many, 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 many ways. And Umbro has been doing a great job with Peru in the early 2010s. Then Marathon took over after the World Cup. I think the worst Peru jer uh, jersey under Umbro was actually the one used at the World Cup in 2018. The Marathon came in and produced absolute stunning kits. And I think they may have produced their best yet. Um, and it is all down. Yes, it's classic Peru. It's a little bit of grand that color. You have a very thick uh, sash, but it's all down to the reference to the Incas with the rainbow colors a little bit on the sleeves and most importantly on the side of the sash. Bam! Is that awesome? When I have seen this, and I think it was a footy headlines, I saw Extraordinary Peru Kit released and I had to agree immediately. This was on my must-have uh, immediately list. 
uh, still working on it because this one is not that easy to come by, at least at the moment around here in Europe. Um, that's a very much South America. I mean, they find a retailer for Marathon. That jersey is awesome. I love that it also on the back. Look at also the slight details that they put in there. I mean, also that the outline of the country is kind of uh, woven on the back side of the collar, like, you know, in this classic Inca style, Inca style, which is so colorful. And that's the one thing, I mean, by now you should know, I've been to Peru, uh, have friends there, I have family, even uh, my sister-in-law is from Peru as well. So I have good ties to that country. Uh, I've visited there the other times and I always felt that uh, similar like Egypt, that uh, the jerseys make way too little of the connection to a supreme uh, early culture. Uh, the Egyptian old, uh, the ancient Egyptians in Caracas of Egypt, and here the Incas. Now they do it, and oh boy, does this look spectacular! Um, and I actually have to commend Marathon for not going all out. Maybe the sleeve cuffs I would like to have gone around, but that they refrained from pulling this pattern all over, but just having a little bit on the side as an X and makes it a brilliant look. Absolutely brilliant. And I mean, you cannot go wrong with a Peru jersey, uh, with the Peru look anyway. Maybe, I would wish, but you know, this, this one does, does, doesn't do it either, that this would extend over the shoulders. That's maybe the one thing, but other than that, it is just brilliant how you take a little cultural reference, just sprinkle it on a little bit, and you get an absolute unique and outstanding jersey. Best jersey at the Copa America. I would even go so far. For now, this is my favorite jersey released in 21. 10 stars. Not gonna argue that one. And it continues also with the away jersey, which is not a traditional Peru color with the navy and the blue. However, it actually fits with the rainbow stuff quite, quite well. Um, yeah, I probably wanna get both jerseys, but now it, it's gotta be the home jersey. That's the classic look. Uh, this one looks also really nice. Uh, but since it's not classic Peru, I'm gonna take it down a notch and say nine stars here. And so we're through. We reviewed all 10 teams at the Copa America. It's the first jersey review where I did a lot of jersey switches. How did you like that? Um, wanna know that or shall I stick how I usually do it that I stay with one team and that's uh, for the entire re review. Definitely less work for me if I do it that way. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Let me know which jerseys in this and in the previous video you liked, where you agree, where you disagree with my rating and yeah, drop a line below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you're updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!